Hello and welcome along to After Effects Basics with your host Robert Smith. In this video we're going to put it all together. Now we've been working in After Effects, if you've followed all the videos I've done so far, we've been making compositions one after the other and we've been creating all sorts of things with After Effects. But let's say for example we want to make a 30 second video. Um, what I can do is I can actually put compositions inside compositions. So let's let me show you what I mean by that. I'm going to start a new composition. 1280 by 720. I'm going to make it um, 30 seconds long, 3000, like that. Duration, and OK. Now, what I can do is I'm going to rename that comp now. To rename something in After Effects is a little bit tricky. Um, here I am my my project. I'm not sure what that's called that, but it's where all my assets live. If I select it like that, I press the return key and then type in, I'm going to call it combined like that and then press return again that's a trick to it you just can't double click on it like you would in a normal um, application so again if you want to rename something over here in your library or assets you just press return like that and then when type in what you want and press return again okay so here you've got a 30 second timeline like this now I can grab all of the um, previous comps that I've made or compositions if I just hold the command key down and click like that don't want that one, Mr. Mercury and Cell Pattern. They're the last four videos I've made. So I'm just going to click and drag them. So notice what I'm doing. I'm dragging compositions into compositions. Now, that's a bit tricky to understand at first, but that's how you put a 30 second or whatever minute video together. You make compositions 1, 10, 5, doesn't matter how many you make. You can, it'll, you can sequence as many as you like. And now all I have to do is pretend they're um, like still images and I can sequence them. Now the order I sequence them, if I select that one first, that'll be first, then maybe Mr. Mercury second with the command held down, then this one, and then this one. They're all selected. I'm going to go to Animation, Keyframe Assistant, Sequence Layers. And here I want them to overlap by about one second would be enough, like that. And I want to dissolve the front layer so they um, fade into each other. I'm going to click OK. And now you can see it's sequenced them in the order that I selected them. Let's have a look at these four compositions put together like that. Mr. Mercury, uh, particle system, and the cell pattern. So what to make from this movie? You can make it... Oh, gosh, then. <laughs> I hope that didn't uh, scare you, that explosion. Or perhaps you didn't hear it because of the, the video, but it sure scared me. Okay, I'll stop that. I don't want to hear that again. Okay, now, as you can see, now I'm putting compositions inside compositions. That's the trick to making a finished product inside After Effects. You make the comps, it doesn't matter if they're 2, 5, 10, 12 seconds long, it doesn't matter. Um, then eventually you'll have enough to make your duration. In this case, I've got 30 seconds. I really don't have enough. I'd probably need another composition to, do the, um, uh, to make it out to 30 seconds. But that's how you put a composition inside another composition, and you do it all the time. And I usually call them combined. Let's just do another one quickly. Apple M like this. 1280 by 720, 30 seconds long. OK that. And here I've got a whole lot of videos like that. I should have another video there. Do I have another video? Yes, I've got one up here. I've got five videos, not compositions. But I've just made a new composition. It's 30 seconds long. So I'm going to drag those videos in like this. And they really don't make much sense. They're just um, some a bit of typography on Sydney Harbour. And yours truly in action at the Fabulous Design Centre um, in Enmore in Sydney, Australia. Teaching a class of uh, After Effects. Okay, so let's have a look at that. Um, I'm going to select that one first. And this one second. That one, I'm holding the command key down. I'm going to animation, browse presets, oh actually, oh sorry, keyframe assistant and sequence my layers. Again, well, this time we might have a, yeah, one second overlaps enough. I click OK. And let's have a look. Now they've got nothing to do with each other. It's just one of the exercises we might do in class, putting some type on the Sydney Harbour Bridge. And this, this was just shot with a GoPro taking time lapse photography. Let's have a look at it. Again, the GoPro using time-lapse photography and then some effects applied to try and make it look interesting. 
like that. Okay, now again, that lasted 30 seconds. We had enough um, footage to, to make 30 seconds. Now the point of that is that what I just did, I just did exactly the same thing I did with compositions. I can start a comp, like a holding or a combined composition, and I can fill it with compositions, or I can fill it with videos. I can actually fill it with um, videos and compositions. It doesn't matter. Stills, After Effects is very, very flexible. So the point of this video again is that when you've got all your little bits and compositions you've put uh, made using effects and video and stills and slideshows and sounds or whatever, you then put them into a final or a combined composition, which is the length of the um, project you're working on. And that's it. And as you can see, you can see them like this using video, or we can see it using compositions doing exactly the same thing. You have a series of compositions, one after the other, like that. Okay, so any project you need to put together, that's the way to do it. Okay, thanks for watching.